Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios, and joining me today again is Mike Heaton from Code Drums. Hello. You may have seen the videos we've done recently comparing the sound of different snare heads and tom heads and kick drum with and without dampening. And at the end of our filming session for all this, we ended up talking about something else that Mike has from Code, which is related in dampening, which is the snare dampening rings that they have. So let's talk about them. Roll the intro. Mm -hmm. So I found these fascinating because um, I've seen dampening rings from other companies before, but never mm. quite like this. Well, I mean, the thing is, it's a really, it's a really basic concept, you know, because we've all heard about uh, O-rings you know, over the years. Um, you know, when we've been looking at different types of dampening, uh, I've tried those, and obviously moon gels and everything else. You know, other gels are available, um, but. but uh, but yeah, it just came to me um, because I, 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 you know, spent years in the studio looking for that really dead sound, uh, and I guess me, like a lot of drummers, have done the old thing where you're cutting up old drum heads and you're just putting them on top of them and getting different sounds. Um, so it was just a really simple, it was just a really simple idea, uh, and and it's basically just thick O-rings, simple as that. I mean, that that's that's all they are, thick O-rings, but. When they work together, and the reason we call them a tone adapter, as, as you'll be able to hear from the uh, videos, is they do adapt the tone of the snare. Um, so really, we, we sell them in a, in, a, in a pack of two like this. Really simple, just O rings, one wider than the other, uh, for varying degrees uh, of uh, you know of tone basically. So you can either just you know chuck one on there, which is wider than your normal O ring, so it's going to take the sort of it's going to take the tone down a bit more, um, and that has a marked effect, which you, again you'll be able to hear from the videos. Uh, and then if you want, you could go for the wider one on its own, again, a bit more dampening. And then if you want even more, the ultimate dampening, put both on, like that. Really simple, you know? Mm. Uh, no, no rocket science about it. Uh, they just sit on there. We've only made them for the snare because I, I was found growing up that O-rings on toms or anything that's tilted in any direction and you're whacking the thing, it, they just fly off and fall off and you end up with bits of tape hanging out and it just looks messy to me. So um, so yeah, just made them from the snare and they are called, yeah, the Code Tone Adapter, packs of two. Simple idea, seems to work. Cool, let's, well, let's, hear, let's hear them now. So we're gonna do, uh, was it the TRS head? Uh, we put them on the TRS and we put them on the Zero. We did. Yeah. So we're going to hear uh, with no dampening, then one stage of dampening, then both uh, for one head, then the other head. On different types of backing tracks. Indeed. Yes. There you go.
And it's absolutely fascinating to me how much of a difference that made. It, it does. As I say, it's a simple idea that makes a huge difference. You, know, you can go from having a really ringy snare, which is great if that's what you like, you know, um, to, well, for instance, for the sort of ballad track that you, you put together, you know, you want something in my eyes that's got that real thud, that weight behind it. Mm. Chuck a cup, both of them on there, and suddenly it's there. Mm. It just works, you know. Something that I think is worth talking about is when I was a, a younger drummer, I tried to use things like this as an excuse not to tune my drums very well. <laughs> and that's not yeah. what they're for at all, is it? They, they are very much a tonal. Yeah choice yeah uh, and they work best if you if you get the, the you know the tuning right before you, you put them on I mean they can they can be very interesting when you take the tuning down so low that when they're not on there it just sounds not very good because there's no tension at all and you can whack them on and it just you get that, that real you know it, similar to the sound that um, Benny Grab um, I think it's Benny Grab did a great video where he's basically just takes um, a head and just turns it upside down and just mm. puts it on the top of another head. Yeah. You know, and you just end with that, you know, that really dead sound. So you can get that if you take the, you take the tension right down and just drop a couple on there. You know, you get that. Is it more, more of a special effect, I guess? It, yeah, I mean, it's got that kind of 70s ELO, really low kind of snare sound, but the control, yeah. mm -hmm. it gets <clears throat> into that studio territory, I think, where a lot of drummers would do things like putting towels on drums and that kind of thing. But being yeah, much easier yeah. to do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's just it's just creating a, a different effect, and it's it's whatever suits the suits the song. I mean, the towel thing obviously is you know going back to, well, God knows where it goes back to, but obviously like the you know John Lennon and the Ono Band that sort of stuff where where you've got that that effect. Yeah. I've tried I've used it in the studio as well. <clears throat> I mean, who knows the ALO sound? It may have come from a very similar idea because all it is is the material the head's made out of cut into circles. You know, I mean, that's the. I'm not trying to, you know, not sell what we're doing, but what I'm saying is, it's a simple idea, that, um, that works well. Yeah, and the, the the thing that caught my eye about this, that's why I wanted to do a separate video, is mm. not only is it kind of easy to do, but it's not particularly flimsy, mm -hmm. and you've got these options. So if you if you're a live drummer, which I tend to play with covers bands quite a lot mm -hmm. you might uh, have a song in the middle of a set that suddenly you're doing a, kind of a, a funky song that's got a really dead mm -hmm. snare and you don't want to be spending time tuning or replacing your snare but rather than just make do with the sound you have if you've got this thing to your side and you just go boop, just straight on. on yeah it's, it's simple it's simple it works well and as with all our stuff you know it's good value for money you know it's only um, 10 or 11 quid for, uh, for, for a pack of two of them so it's not a big outlay. Try it out and um, you know see what you think. It's just a good tool, like you say, to have there at your side if you need it. Yeah. And obviously, if you're using you know these on a particularly deep snare like this one is, um, which is uh, a beautiful drum made by the British Drum Company, uh, which is it's it's an eight inch deep birch sort of one off really. Um, the artwork being it's hand painted by a guy called Chubb who did basically our live album cover for the live album we did this year which was a, a, re, a rethinking of the, our first album um, um, The Goodwill Out and he basically did it in all these bright colours rather than the original photograph that was taken in New York so I just said you know would that work on a drum and this is what he came up with and the whole kit's been made with the same finish at the moment so you've got beautifully hand painted thing, 20 layers of lacquer on a, a lovely uh, British Drum Company kit. Uh, and to add to that, I suppose, uh, thinking about the kits, or the kit that we've used in these videos, just so everyone knows, it is a British Drum Company. The kit is a, a legend kit, which is uh, all birch shells, and the snare that we've used on there is a Merlin, which is, the shell is a, a birch and maple hybrid so people know what, what they're listening to. And as we've heard in the videos, it, it sounds great. Mm. No matter what kind of head you put on it. Yeah. Oh, with Zildjian cymbals, and Vic Fair sticks, and code drum heads. <laughs> 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 Gotta get them all in there. <laughs> and big thanks to SE Electronics for the microphones, which I'm doing a separate video yeah, on. Yeah, sounds great. So thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you again. Cheers, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye everybody. See you later.
Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out our other videos as you can find here, or check out our Facebook and Twitter, or our Patreon page which helps us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.